Hey everyone, MobiusY here with another video for Stellaris Console Edition. Today's video we will be covering one of the game's mechanics and the topic this time is Consumer Goods, which is an advanced resource your empire produces. The latest update brought about some major changes to how players expand their economy in Stellaris Console Edition, so the aim of this video is to highlight exactly how this affects your production of Consumer Goods. Consumer Goods, or CGs for short, are represented by the orange symbol of goodies in a basket. You can check at any time your current stockpile of consumer goods as well as your empire's monthly production by looking at the resource bar on the top of the screen. If food represents the nutrient paste your population needs for basic survival, then consumer goods can be best described as the fast food burgers and legalized narcotics your population desires to stay happy. Consumer goods are always required for every pop in an organic empire, and some jobs even increase the amount of consumer goods a pop needs. Because of this, it is necessary to always be increasing your empire's production of consumer goods when needed. While consumer goods are required for any organic empire, they are not produced for most Gestalt Consciousness empires. Hive minds and most machine empires do not need them. The main method to increase your empire's production of consumer goods is to create the necessary jobs for your pops. For most empires, this will be the artisan job, which is created by constructing industrial districts on your colonies. These special districts are new to Stellaris Console Edition with a 3.0.3 update and can be constructed on any planet, habitat, or ringworld segment for more artisan jobs. Industrial districts, like city districts, are only limited by the maximum number of districts a colony can have in total. This means almost any colony in your empire could be made an industrial workhorse, and you can construct as many industrial districts as you see fit. For this video, let's use Bazanac 3 as an example of an industrial colony. At first glance, it is a size 16 planet with very few resource districts. It only has 3 generator districts, 4 mining districts, and 5 agriculture districts. This makes it a good candidate for an industrial colony, focusing on producing more consumer goods. So let's get it colonized as quickly as possible. Now that our new industrial colony is up and running, we'll want to construct some industrial districts to create artisan jobs. So let's add some to the construction queue. Each industrial district adds two housing to the colony, as well as one metallurgist and one artisan job to produce alloys and consumer goods, respectively. Now that we have some industrial districts on this colony and pops working the new jobs, our production of both alloys and consumer goods have both increased. But we want this colony to mainly produce consumer goods, instead of splitting its production between these two advanced resources. By changing the colony's designation, we can have our industrial districts instead creating two artisan jobs and not just one. Head over to the Summary tab and select the Colony Designation box. By changing the colony's designation to an industrial world, this will cause any industrial districts constructed to produce two artisan jobs for your pops, further increasing its production of consumer goods. Select the Industrial World designation and check the Population tab to make sure that all your pops are now working the desired jobs. One thing to note is that artisan jobs require a significant amount of minerals for upkeep to represent the conversion of raw materials into more refined and marketable goods. Always make sure your minerals production is sufficient to fuel the manufactories that are producing goods on your industrial world colonies. On top of creating more artisan jobs, it is also possible to increase the productivity of your pops working these jobs. The best thing to do to increase production of your artisans is to construct a civilian industries building. This building has been changed in the new update, it still has three tiers and the tier 1 building still produces some additional artisan jobs. However, this building is now limited to one per planet. The technologies necessary to upgrade this building are in the engineering branch, and researching these technologies will allow you to upgrade the civilian industries to the next tier. Upgrading the civilian industries building will no longer create more artisan jobs. Instead, it increases the base amount of consumer goods your pops produce when working the artisan job. This is extremely valuable because these bonuses to the base production of artisans are applied before any additional percentage bonuses, meaning that the higher the base production value, the more you get from percentage bonuses. There are technologies such as market analysis algorithms in the physics branch which gives a production bonus to your artisans. You can also increase their production with the creative collectives tradition in the prosperity tree, which applies a bonus to all specialist jobs, including artisans. Once you have researched the Global Production Strategy technology from the Society branch, you can construct a Ministry of Production on your industrial world to further increase the output of your artisans. One final thing to consider is the Mastery of Nature Ascension perk. By applying the Mastery of Nature planetary decision to your industrial world, the colony's maximum number of districts is permanently increased by two, allowing you to construct two additional industrial districts on it. 
An alternative way to improve your production of consumer goods is by utilizing the internal market. If you find your empire is producing an excess of other resources, consider selling them off to purchase more consumer goods for your needs. You can also set up automatic trades which will occur monthly and directly impact your empire's production of resources. Consumer goods are quite valuable on the market, so the price to buy more will be higher than other resources such as food or minerals. This also makes consumer goods very useful to sell for more energy credits and can be a valid strategy to use when your empire has an abundance of consumer goods being produced. That's it for today's video, so if you found it helpful, please leave a like and comment down below what your thoughts are on this video format as well as how you're enjoying Stellaris Console Edition's newest update. For more Stellaris Console Edition content, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icons to be notified whenever a new video goes public. Don't forget to check out the links provided in the description below, including one for the official Stellaris Discord, where you can become part of the greater Stellaris community. Thanks very much for watching, this is MobiusY, and I hope to see you again real soon.